Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Final Fantasy 16. We are here in Rosaria to find ourselves a Marlboro so we can kill it for its veins, if I understand it correctly. So we can make certain plants grow a up a little bit stronger at our base, because the hideaway is not the most uh, useful place to grow plants, and with this we might be able to change it up a little. I did uh, have to search around a little bit to find this, but this should be the location. And of course the Marlboro is a hunt level B, so it might pose a bit of a problem, but it doesn't mean I won't try. So let's uh, give it our villa the tent and hopefully we'll be able to do it. <laughs> and of course, if he's here. There he is. Yep, definitely. Carrot. Rank B. Well, hello, beautiful. It couldn't have been just any hobo, could it? Right then. Let's try to figure out what it's gonna do, because it's been a while since we actually fought one. I think the last one was at the actual at the beginning of the game, our first actual monster. Yes, of course. Bad breath will always be a thing for Marlboro. And it will never not be nasty. <laughs> ah, come on. That's just too fast. Uh oh. Oh, we're staggered. Oh, that was uh, coincidental. Well, let's just go to uh, level 2, because it was accidental. Might as well abuse it. Stay away from his mouth. We're almost halfway there, so we're making progress. Can you keep your arena a bit cleaner than this, really? Come on. Yes, there it is. There's a few more extra damage. Just fine. That's a nice uh, damage output. Huh? Get out of the way for his breath. Oh god, what now? Yeah. 
Uh oh. Wrong form, wrong form. Can we get to one then at least? Could have been worse. I could have done that before I unleashed this. little thing Notorious Mark slain. Ah, uh, we are getting better damage wise. That's good. And a lot of cash. A key item. Yes, it is. And a flower material for something else besides the side quest. Yeah, I think we definitely should before it expired and we need to do it again. <laughs> so let's get back to base. And then we can uh, deal with the blacksmith's blues once again. Yeah, he's coming to the realization that there's so many great blacksmiths out there that... Uh, yeah, it's really hard to keep up. And the thing is, our blacksmith, he's not that bad. He's actually really, really great. Very diverse in his skill, but still, when you find something that is almost perfection, he gets the blues and we have to fix it for him. And it will usually result into a new technique that will benefit us all. But first, let's deliver this plant and see if it actually works. Uh, Sid, I... Uh can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Sometime later. Looks like the plants are growing quite nicely, actually. It is just as I hoped. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid, you've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Well, you're welcome. Please, sir, can I have some more wool? Yes. An invigorated Morgan Beard extract. If added, uh, the extract of Morgsberg's petals to curative or performance-enhancing potions increase their potency, then imagine what adding the extract of Morgsberg's petals fortified with the vigor of a morbid grid with madness might do. 
necessary for further increasing consumable potency. Means uh, we heal more <laughs> if we use a potion and such. Potion potency plus. You've obtained a file of invigorated Morgan Beard extract, further increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore even more HP, while strength, stone skill, and lionheart tonics last even longer. Allow me to thank you again, Master Sid. I do believe you have quite a knack for this sort of work. Should you ever grow tired of saving the realm, we would happily welcome your assistance here in the backyard on a permanent basis. <laughs> I jest, of course. I have a feeling you are only jesting for a little. Because he would have loved to uh, have added him uh, to the list. And who wouldn't? Clive is really good at what he does. Even though there's a lot he shouldn't be doing here. Alright, let's uh, replenish our potions and let's head over for Dravots. Because I'm pretty sure we can get some there too. But in case we get attacked before we get there, I do want to make sure we're prepared. It'd better all be here. You're robbing me blind, you know. Yeah, but that's uh, our job, robbing you blind. Because if we didn't, you probably wouldn't even take us seriously. Right, so where do we need to be exactly? Ah, all the way over there. Eh, shouldn't be too hard now that uh, the path has been opened up. Sadly, there is no... Well, I don't think it matters. Uh, I think it's both uh, roughly the same length to walk to. Let's make sure we uh, pick up our chocobo as soon as we step uh, outside the city. The free cities and the sea. Come on. Yeah, just to make sure we're on the right path still. All right, let's run. And that's how we're not uh, encountering any too persistent beasts. Time to fight. No, time to walk. See if we can get through here. Uh, yeah, Not this might be uh, taken care of. Uh oh, sorry. This was uh, not the one I was going to go for, but uh, I think it does uh, send a statement, doesn't it? And like animals, I don't mind walking past them, but if bandits are trying to uh, stop me, yeah, we definitely have to do something about that. Uh, ooh, that's uh, a good one. A waypoint. Don't mind if I do. Charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. 
That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. <laughs> he is gonna start Zoltan something with the Chief. First punch. Not good enough for you. Go on then. Much obliged. Seems like a nice, uh, small little place. So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Zoltan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill? Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. All right, time for our uh, local smooth talker. So we have a little look uh, around town first before we uh, head to the Elder. Just in case to say something wrong and get kicked out of town. Good day. Good day. And again, 40k for an uh, orchestra uh, role. Still way too much. It's half of my money that will go into it. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh well, I think uh, once we reach the end game, there might be some things we can grind or something, Isn't there just to acquire all of them. It doesn't seem fair. The men folk there has to at least be an easier way, right? But yes, Sorry. what I'm looking for is of course uh, some uh, hidden chest inside the village. There's always one or two. I'm not gonna be uh, going over every corner with a toothpick, but a little round shouldn't be too bad. And uh, being a smithing uh, city, you'd think there would be a few more than one. Hmm. And where's this site actually leading to? Ah, back to the desert. <laughs> I'm just glad there's a waypoint here, so if we ever need to be back here, we do not have to walk far. Alright, let's check the other side of the road. If there's nothing, we will go to Zoltan. Well, there it is, right behind the cart. Sneaky little git. Let's uh, take the scenic route. close there's one more little corner I see something here thank you very much I think that should be it for now I think we are ready to see the chief let's hope he's okay enough to uh, talk to us
butter. Butter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Can you not offer your fire? As the dominant to light their forge to find a way in. Please, Chief, you've got to really? do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. <laughs> Still grab me some height uh, before I leave. I thought I'd made myself clear. Piss off. Yeah, you're uh, the ever ray of sunshine, I can already tell. Mama. If we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our key? Shut Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Time to do it yourself, Blackthorn. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravojd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. Who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan. Whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. So the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of... Doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the Grey Smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it. It's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. 
Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting. Yeah, man. that is very nearby, isn't it? I think that's right outside of town. So it tried all sorts of leather to make those bellows, but salamander skin was the only kind that worked. Luckily for all our sakes, salamanders aren't too hard to find around these parts. Alright, then uh, let's make good and find those salamanders. Oh. Let's go. Not just call, also right life. We shouldn't tease uh, our dear old Chocobo. Uh, just 300 meters, that is nothing. And if we can hunt down some extra, because uh, getting some extra skin never hurts. But uh, it's just a, a proof of concept. I think he's gonna probably make one forge, show them how it's done, and then teach them how to do it. If they're willing to listen, of course. Because that's of course a very big if. You deserve a rest. Let's make this quick, shall we? Well, well I was planning on it. <sighs> You think an enemy with a skin to withstand flame would be more suited against fire attacks? <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I'm just uh, noticing. I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. Alright, let's go. Let's pick up some, uh, well, scrap off the floor. <laughs> and head back to town. Well, I really do hope uh, this will be enough. Not just to help the town with the fire, but also maybe to bridge the gap that uh, Blackthorn created by going away from its own town. I do understand his reasons and I think he made the right choice. Because he became a master blacksmith because of it, I think. But I shouldn't linger over his hat for the rest of his life. And uh, who knows, maybe by doing that uh, we'll get even better weapons in the future. Which I'm pretty sure we will. Back to the stables, girl. What's this all about then? Don't know. Some... Any trouble finding the skin? 
Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work! But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah! Dravoged is saved! Yeah, but there's one person Sorry he needs to convince. That sounds a lot milder already. I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cold Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Uh, why does he say that he left well, for the same reason? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Yeah, and let's be honest, it's not just about, uh, let's say, the cinders. It's also about helping his hometown. I think that's just as important to him. I'm pretty sure it is. He's still explaining the ins and outs of the new forge. So I doubt we'll be going anywhere for a bit. No sense you waiting around anyway. That's okay. I'll be back at the hideaway Steve's before long. Take some getting used to. Yeah, I can imagine, but uh, new ways always takes a bit of time. Alright, let's see if he's back. Then we can give it to him, uh, round off our last side quest, and maybe make a start on our new location. Well, not new location, but our main quest location. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have to help welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? <laughs> and you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? 
Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. <laughs> At least he's gonna try. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> Quest completed. And let's be honest, I do think they've grown a little bit closer. Uh, closer to the point of mutual forgiveness. And that is already means a lot. Ouroboros design draft. Necessary to craft the belt? Ouroboros. Considering other games that we play on the channel, the name Ouroboros means a lot. So we have to make it, even if it's not good enough. <laughs> I wonder what we need for it. <laughs> Let me guess, we need to hunt some monsters in order to use it. Saint Fornian, do you? Uh, I think it's a craft, uh, then, isn't it? Where would you be? Uh, a stone tongue, a comet feather, an oracalcum. 14 defense points more for a belt that is an amazing increase. The uh, increase in defense uh, power, what I have. I have none of the items, but I'm ready to be sure that the first two are from, of course, uh, Hans. So we have to check the board who it is. Defeat them, bring the stuff back. But Orakelcom, that's gonna be a different thing. Because I don't Anything think else? we can buy it anywhere. I can check the store, but no, no, it, it won't be there. It wouldn't be uh, that yellow if it wasn't extremely rare for us to get. So, I'm going to put it on the back burner between the episodes. I'm going to look around, especially on the hunting board. Maybe figure out who are the enemies we need to defeat. So, maybe the next time or the one time after that, once we figure out where the Olga Calcum is, we can do those two hunts too. Get the materials and make the belt. Not because of the name Ouroboros. And the fact that it's a pretty decent item, that's just... Uh, an added bonus, let's just keep it at that. Okay, for now, return to the Iron Works. Let's do a little bit. Hopefully, it will not lock us in into a half hour long story, but uh, we can do a little bit more. <laughs> the Iron Works. It is a beautiful ship, though. One proud of the name Sid. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Iron Ayar is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! <laughs> and the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't.
Clive. What do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. That he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! <laughs> Get on the ship and go! Bed! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! All hands! All hands! Man your stations! <laughs> Pitch everything off. Uh, do I need to fight people a couple of times just to uh, keep them at bay? <laughs> Time to go. It's nothing. Slay them all. About that offer, Cam. How are we doing, Mid? I thought you said that ship was fast. And you guys, we are ready for you. It's Fast for a big guy like that. slain that was
was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. Another you moment too captain? soon. Clive. Ah, oh, not you again, really. But, but I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament! Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? <laughs> of course we are. Uh, if one we'll wasn't uh, hard enough already. Boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. <laughs> heads will roll Mate, the same. You plan! You leave! We follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Way anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. It is not blood that runs through an edge's veins. These foes will not fall easily, but they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. <laughs> Heck, you know. Let's do the lot. All right, guys, keep them busy for a little while if you can. Say what you want about Byron, but uh, he doesn't know how to handle his axe. <laughs> Just you, Clive. <laughs> Use your wings. <laughs> Enterprise escaped. Level up. Yeah. We getting there. Being all powerful. Now, mate! Alright, engine full ahead! And hold on tight! The 
the Daldia Narrow. The Anharyar. Just hold on. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Somehow, I don't believe him. I think he's waiting to kill her in front of him. To sever his ties, like Ultima said. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the Galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. He's <laughs> <laughs> definitely installing us with faith, isn't it? <laughs> Cheerio. <sighs> oh, yeah. Keep up, my boy. Well, you can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. So there is he. He went back to his own city, isn't it? To see the destruction that he wrought. Riga of mercy. <laughs> All that is left from his kingdom. After you went berserk. All this. It. What have I done? My lord, 
out. Yeah, the once beautiful, a magnificent uh, city. No more. <laughs> Unable to travel. <laughs> Alright, we need to move on a little bit further. And hopefully there is not a big thing stuck to it. Because I'm betting once we reach the beach we still have to walk all the way <laughs> to the city. Well, let's uh, move on. The Naldia Narrow. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the Narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. A bit, clo bit closer than we thought it was. I keep those furnaces bed. Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Get ready for naval battle. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. But then there is naught my blade cannot sever. that source of his you'd think they don't stand a chance but that doesn't mean they will give up Taking Barnabas away from the ship, so Clive had the time to uh, look around for Jill. Through the maelstrom. 
Where did you hide, Albanimus? I'm guessing we're just uh, gonna have a little look see on the ship. New enemies approaching. Oh, you have any shields? Let me guess. He's around the corner. Yeah, I see you. Is it gonna be like that? Burn them all. Slightly annoying, definitely doable. Can we go back in the menu? Do we have access to our save? We do. All right, so I will leave it here. Next time we're gonna go inside the ship, inside the hull, find Jill, and see if we can get her out of here. And then we'll have to deal with Barnabas, and I have no idea how we're gonna deal with that, but that will be something for the next time. So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we will find Jill and hopefully we can rescue her. See you then. Bye-bye.